Our first reading today is from James, the second chapter, verses 8 through 13. If you really keep the royal law of God in Scripture, that is, love your neighbor as yourself, you are doing right. But if instead you show favoritism, you sin and are convicted by the law as lawbreakers. For whoever keeps the whole law and yet stumbles at just one point is guilty of breaking all of it. For he who said, you shall not commit adultery, also said, you shall not murder. If you do not commit adultery, but you do commit murder, you have become a lawbreaker. Speak and act as those who are going to be judged by the law, the law that gives freedom, because judgment without mercy will be shown to anyone who has not been merciful. Mercy triumphs over judgment. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. God. to do ministry, 
and in order to uh, accomplish some things and get through grieving, to get through loss, to get through our problems, we need each other. That's why we cannot be judgmental. We cannot condemn. That's where the mercy comes into. So Jesus has got his core group of disciples. Now, I already told you a few weeks ago that if you remember that when he went and he talked to Peter, he talked to Andrew and Bartholomew and John and said, you know, follow me. Would you like to follow me? And they just dropped their nets and followed them. Well, I already told you that they already knew about Jesus. They didn't just drop it all. We don't take leaps of faith. I guess a pet peeve with me, you know, when parishioners say, well, I just took a leap of faith. Well, I hope not. Oh, my gosh. You know, you're going to drop down and you're, you're setting yourself up for failure. I hope you tell me I was led by the Holy Spirit. You know, if you want my attention on something, just come to me and say, Pastor, I was led by the Holy Spirit. You were? All right, you got it. What did, you, what did God tell you? That means more than saying, I took a leap of faith. What do you mean you took a leap of faith? That means you didn't pray about it. That means you're not led by the Holy Spirit. You just leaped out and took it. We don't do that. We have a plan of action. We just don't go off and take leaps of faith. All right? That's a myth. So he didn't do that either. He didn't take a leap of faith and said the disciples didn't do that. They didn't take a leap of faith. They weren't stupid. You know, they had jobs. They had careers. They did things. They were fishermen. Um, they got a lot of fish that was their living. They had to know how to do it. So, you know, they dropped their nets because they already knew God. They already knew Jesus Christ. They already knew who he was, but they were curious, okay? They had a little bit of doubt going on, you know, but they knew what, what, uh, that he was doing good things, that he was different. They knew the law. And so then you got, you know, this going on. So now he's on the mountain, as we know, and he's talking to the disciples. He's not talking to the crowds. He's talking to the disciples about this code of ethic, uh, something that we need uh, to learn as disciples of Jesus Christ. And so he begins uh, taking his disciples aside, and he talks to them about being humble. We talked about for humble, we will be blessed. If we know, if you remember, we said that being blessed means that you're going to experience joy. We're going to experience joy. Uh, we're going to experience uh, you joy back there, right? That's what I think about. You know, I think about that word. Think about joy back there. Uh, joy and joy is joy. Joy is joy. But hey, amen. <laughs> Right, amen. Uh, so I hope that you've been uh, handling your road 
little sister, uh, you know, and, and being able to be aware of those issues uh, that we have uh, talked about. Those we want to be gentle. We want to uh, so that the next part we're, we're going to skip over uh, Beatitude six. We're doing actually Beatitude six next week. Uh, so I'm going to. Um, ask you about that, uh, what it means to be filled, so think about that this week uh, as we go about our business, and then come back next Sunday and let me know what you think, what it means to be filled. Next Sunday is Pentecost Sunday, so I thought it, it fit perfect uh, with our theme uh, for next week. So number seven is, the merciful are blessed, for they will be shown mercy. That's what it says. It says, number seven, the merciful are blessed, for they will be shown mercy. Do you know that you cannot give mercy to people unless you've been given mercy? Do you know that? You cannot, because you will not be able to feel what it's like to have mercy given to you. It's, it's kind of like uh, having situations where you're not familiar with. You know, if somebody loses their child and you've never lost a child, you don't know what that feels like, right? You cannot, it's hard for us to relate. Well, that's the same thing with mercy. If we've been given mercy, we know what that overwhelming feeling of a burden being lifted off of us, that, that uh, roadway being restored, the relationship being restored. And if you all are sitting here and you raised your hand a few weeks ago and told me that you are a discipleship of our disciple of Jesus Christ, then you all have received mercy. You all have. So that means that it is your job as a disciple of Jesus Christ, as part of the code of ethics, is to be able to show mercy to those, this is the kicker, to those who do not deserve it. So, uh, so for instance, you know, if um, if uh, Barb, Barb's gone for a minute. So anyway, so for instance, when we talk about road rage, you know, if someone cuts us off, we say we give them mercy. If we haven't done any of the fingers or the sign language we do or whatever we do, so you know, if we get, if someone cuts us off. And we let them go by, we're smiling, you know, everything's all good and everything, and we really need it, then we just give them mercy because they didn't necessarily deserve it. It's kind of like getting pulled over by a police officer, and you have like a rap sheet of tickets, like myself, and uh, speeding tickets, and uh, you know, the police officer pulls me, pulls me over, and I'm just there praying, Lord, give me mercy, Lord, give me mercy, Lord, give me mercy, please give me mercy. Oh my gosh, she's in that car way too long. He's doing a ticket. I know he's doing a ticket. Please, Lord. <laughs> and I'm just thinking about all the money and all the defensive driving class I gotta do again, you know, all this stuff. And then when the when the police officer comes to the window, he's like, I'm gonna give you a break. Oh, praise the Lord. God, and then you're like, oh happy, right? Oh, well, I am. I'm like, oh, God bless you. God bless you, man. You know, that is awesome. And, you know, to feel that relief, you know, that, that just that relief just flows off of you. It's kind of like getting in trouble, you know, if you're in front of a judge or something, and you didn't get the ticket, right? You got the speeding ticket. You go in front of a judge, and then you're like, oh, please, judge. Oh, please, judge. Don't take away my license. Don't suspend it. I've been there. I have. I've been there in front of the judge, and I'm like, oh, Oh, please don't suspend my license. I, I, I'll be better, you know, no problem. And then the judge will be like, if you do that one more time, I'm going to take away your license. And I'm like, praise God. <laughs> I get to walk out of here, you know, um, and have mercy. I remember uh, being single uh, with two children at one time uh, for a year. And I remember that I couldn't afford my car insurance, and they suspended my license. Uh, do you do you think I stayed home with two children? No. no. I had to go to work. I had to go to work. I had to drop them off at daycare. So I I could not. I I I, I drove. I drove. I had a suspended license, right? So I remember that I um I got the ticket, right? 
from the suspended license, and then he sent me to, um, I had to go in front of the judge, but there was nobody else. I went into his office, and I just said, you know what, sir, um, I have a single mom, and I, I, got the, I, I have a suspended license, and I know you can do many things right now, but um, I, I have to go to work, and I don't have any other way to make money. I can't walk to work and I got to take my kids to daycare, and he said, I'm gonna let you go. Absolutely. You know, I cried. I walked out of, the, out of his uh, chambers, and I just cried in the car, because he let me go. He I actually got my license restored, and was able to pay my auto insurance. You know how if you don't pay your auto insurance, they, they knock that out. And I was able to get restored because he gave me mercy. So if you take the time to be able to think in your life and reflect of all the times that you've been given mercy, then why is it so hard for us to give mercy out? Wow. Something that we need to think about is why, since we have been given, I can tell you many, many stories in my life of mercy been given to me, and I don't know why we have such a problem giving it back. So, I would like to do a little uh, example. Today is a collection day. <laughs> can, the, can the bells please bring in our, our, our debtors? Master, 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 I don't need so much money. Master, Let me look it up just a second, please. Master, please forgive You're very high on this list, you I know. know. I know, Master. I, 10, I know. 10,000 talents I, I, I know you hold. I don't get to register. But this, I'm sorry, this has to be paid today. I, I can't believe You have children? Yes. Yes, well, yes, Master, I do. You I have do. to take care of them? Yes, Master, I, I do. Does anybody have a pencil or a pen that I can write? <laughs> <laughs> Happy, you no. don't know that. No. I'd like to be happy. 
I, I'm sorry, I can't read this right now. <laughs> Do I have to drag her or what? What do I Talk to the hand. Okay. Can I talk to the guy? Can I talk to the judge that's the the judge that sympathetic? Oh, he's fine. Should I talk to the guy? Yeah. Nice. Talk to the man. Sympathetic? Nice guy over there? Ma'am? I, I, I've been watching all along here. Oh, yes, I'm not too much. And your dealings with the niece. There's not much left. You were being very judgmental. I did not see any mercy there. Oh, you so oh, really? Yes. Oh, wow. You know what happens now? I, I, no, Mister. No, yes. Mister. No, Mister. Jonathan is going to keep you in prison until all 10,000 are paid. That's how it works with God. That's how it works with God. Now that you've seen the story come alive in Matthew chapter 18, verse 20, and you've seen how it looks to receive mercy, and then how much damage and trauma you give to the person who is trying to beg mercy from you, even though they didn't deserve it. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
to send be imitators of God and show love, because God is love and only love, um, and show mercy this week. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen.